I sometimes think about that army of sperm cells, however many hundreds of thousands there are, and I kind of think of all the possibilities there, because there's a lot of variation, and one gets to win. Is, is that it's a, not a random one. Is, is it a totally ridiculous way to think about? No, not at all. The... <laughs> so I would say evolutionarily, we are a very slow evolving species. Basically, the generations of humans are a terrible way to do selection. What you need is processes that allow you to do selection in a smaller, tighter loop. Yeah. And part of what, if you look at our immune system, for example, it evolves at a much faster pace than humans evolve because there is actually an evolutionary process that happens within our immune cells. Mm -hmm. As they're dividing, there's basically VDJ recombination that basically creates this extraordinary wealth of antibodies and antigens against the, the environment. And basically all these antibodies are now recognizing all these antigens from the environment and they send signals back that cause these cells that recognize the non-self to multiply. So that basically means that even though viruses evolve at millions of times faster than we are, we can still have a component of ourselves which is environmentally facing, which is sort of evolving at not the same scale, but very rapid pace. Sperm expresses perhaps the most proteins of any cell in the body. And Part of the thought is that this might just be a way to check that the sperm is intact. In other words, if you waited until that human has a liver and starts eating solid food and you know sort of filtrates away, you know, uh, or or kidneys or stomach, etc. Basically, if you waited until these mutations you know manifest late, late in life then you would end up not failing fast and you would end up with a lot of failed pregnancies and a lot of later onset, you know, psychiatric illnesses, et cetera. If instead you basically express all of these genes at the sperm level and if they misform, they basically cause the sperm to cripple, then you have at least on the male side, the ability to exclude some of those mutations. And on the female side, as the egg develops, there's probably a similar uh, process where you could, you could sort of weed out eggs that are just not, you know, carrying beneficial mutations, or at least that are carrying highly detrimental mutations. So you can basically think of the evolutionary process in a nested loop, basically, where there's an inner loop where you get many, many more iterations to, to run, and then there's an outer loop that moves at a much slower pace. And going back to uh, the next step of evolution of possibly designing systems that we can use to sort of complement our own biology or to sort of eradicate disease and you name it, or at least mitigate uh, some of the, I don't know, psychiatric illnesses, neurodegenerative disorders, et cetera. You can basically, and also, you know, metabolic, immune, cancer, you name it. Simply engineering these mutations from rational design might be very inefficient. If instead you have an evolutionary loop where you're kind of growing neurons on a dish, and you're exploring evolutionary space and you're sort of shaping that one protein to be better adapt at sort of, I don't know, recognizing light or communicating with other neurons, et cetera, you can basically have a smaller evolutionary loop that you can run like thousands of times faster than the speed it would take to evolve humans for another million years. So I think it's important to think about sort of this evolvability as a set of nested structures that allow you to sort of test many more combinations, but in a more fixed setting. Yeah, that's fascinating that so the, the mechanism there is uh, for, for sperm to express proteins to create a testing ground early on uh, so that the the failed designs don't make it. Yeah, I mean, in design of engineering systems, fail fast is one of the principles you learn. Yeah. Like basically you assert something. Why do you assert that? Because if that something ain't right, you better crash now than sort of let it crash at an unexpected time. And in a way you can think of it as like 20,000 assert functions, assert protein can fold, assert protein can fold. Yeah. And if any of them fail, that sperm is gone. Well, I just like the fact that I'm the winning sperm. I'm the result <laughs> of the, the winner, winning, hashtag winning. My, my wife always plays me this French song that actually sings about that. It's like, you know, remember in life, we were all the first one time. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so at least once. At we least won. one time, you were the first. <laughs>